In this movie, we're going to take a look at our Bezier curve tool. We're also going to take a look at how we can close a curve if it's open. We'll also take a look at our extrude tool under surfaces and also our attribute editor. So let's go to our top view and I'm going to go under create Bezier curve tool and I'm going to click and drag and I'm using all the default settings on the Bezier curve click and drag, click and drag, and you have to click and drag because otherwise you'll get just points. So make sure you click and drag to get these Bezier handles. Once you're done, hit enter. Now I want to edit the curve a little bit, so right click, go to control vertex, and let's modify not only the points but also the handles by themselves, just so that it looks a little better. And once you're done, you just right click, go to object mode. At this time, I'm also going to go to the front view and use a tool which we've used before, which is the EP curve tool. Let's go to create EP curve tool. So let's go here and start making an EP curve tool. So I'm going to go really close, make one here. Just making some simple points. And I'm purposely not holding down X to grid snap right now. So if I hit enter, you can see that right over here, it's not really connected. We can go here and try to get a little close to our object, uh, to our other point over here. And straighten some of these out. Right around there. There we go. So if I go back to my object mode and if I want to close this curve right now, I can simply go to Edit Curves. I'm on the Surfaces menu set. And I'll simply do Open slash Close Curves. So if the curve is open, it'll close it. The option I'm using is Blend with Insert Not. So let's just close it. And you can see right there, it closed the curve. And you can obviously go back and modify your geometry. The next thing I'm going to do is, let's go to the perspective view. And the pivot for the object is right here at the origin. So let's go modify center pivot quickly. And let's go and snap this object to this curve right here. Let's also scale it down slightly. So I'm going to hold down C and middle mouse button and snap it right over there and let's quickly rotate it. At this time I'm gonna select my curve so the little shape is already selected I'm gonna shift select my curve and I'm gonna go under surfaces again make sure you're on the surfaces menu set go into the surfaces drop down over here the main menu and go to extrude Let's take the default settings right now. So I just quickly reset my settings. And let's do an extrude. So you can see immediately we got this nice object over here. But you can see that it's not exactly on the curve. Now if you want it to be exactly on the curve, what you can do is you can go to the attribute editor, which we can open right from here, this button, or control A is the hotkey. And with the object selected, you can see that the extrude is already highlighted over here. That's the tab I'm on. The extrude type is a tube. I can change some of the options. The attribute editor is really, really good. It's going to be your best friend in Maya. Everything you do to the object is going to show up in the attribute editor, most of the things. So I go to component pivot and also I'll say fixed path. So it's nicely on the path right now. So there you go.